Okay. Hey guys, my name is Kim, uh, founder and CEO of Group Convert, and we're here with Frankika, um, and we are going to do some troubleshooting today. Um, all right, so you already cleared your cache? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I uh, uninstalled, cleared the cache, reinstalled, and then for that moment, I even lost um, this stuff, but then after a while, it just kind of showed up. So now I have the same drive, uh, drive file connected and everything. Okay, let me check a few things. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check to see if this is synced up. So I'm going to go ahead and request remote control, and then you just approve it. Okay, and then open system preferences, click that. And then it will open the system preferences. And then now go click the lock image at the very bottom. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And then type in your password. And then check Zoom. And then you can click lock again. And then now I should be able to control it now. Let me see. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to check right here if it's syncing. It is syncing. All right. Now I'm going to go to your Google Sheet that you have uh, linked up to it. I'm going to click save. Okay, I'm going to click view data. I'm going to check. All right. I'm going to go to the Google Sheet, see if it's linked up and everything. If it's the right one. Mm -hmm. um, looks like it's right. When did you highlight this? I just highlight uh, when I put them into the list. I did not connect the zap here yet. Okay. So we're going to click share and I'm going to make sure that this is the link that you're getting. So I'm going to click done. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to paste it in here and um, select all. How do I select all? Paste. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Okay, now I'm going to try to approve one person. Let's just grab their information just in case. Copy. Paste it into a, a Word document. So we're just going to it's been there. Make sure we don't lose it. All right, approve. Did I approve that person? Yeah. That person? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it approved it. Okay. I'm gonna click view data. Okay, that person's there, and now I'm gonna push to Google Sheet. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna open the Google Sheet. I don't, didn't really need to press that button, but. Let's check at the very bottom whether that person got accepted or not. Uh, let's scroll faster. It's around 250 maybe. 200. Yeah, almost there. Okay, there it is. Cool. Awesome. Bridget. So, it does work. What was the issue that you were experiencing? Approve all, and that's where you get stuck. Okay, like I'm gonna that, try it. And then you will have the three little dots and it just never goes through. I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna save everyone's information just in case. Okay. Click copy. Paste it in here. Uh okay. I guess it paste. Yeah, it will work. It's fine. Everything? Sure. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna click approve all and see if it works or not. Hopefully it does. Hopefully. Oh, like, so that's what didn't work. The pop-up never came up and it would just get stuck there and says approval and like three little dots and it just would never move from there. Okay, here's some things that might have made it work, okay? Mm -hmm. I. I th these are the things I did. I copied this. So this is one thing that might have made it work. I copied the link and then put it, the link again into that spot. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that might have made it work. Another thing is uh, I go here and I make sure I click save so that mm -hmm. it says it's ready to save you time and money. That might have made it work. And, um, and that, those are the only two things that I did really. So technically, if by any chance happens again, just literally redo everything. Just kind of clean it and then just put the links back in and reconnect everything. Yeah, and okay. um, a lot of times if you're clearing cache, mm -hmm. um, this gets unlinked sometimes. Sometimes okay. it doesn't, but sometimes it does. 
for me and all I need to do is just go back here, grab this link and then repaste it in here. But mm -hmm. I do make sure that it does uh, say group converse ready, save you time and money just in case I go ahead and click that save button. Mm -hmm. And then it, it kind of helps with linking everything up again because uh, clearing cache sometimes disconnects it. Okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, awesome. All right. And you should definitely get Zapier to grab this because you're still doing like manual going. I know. I know. And your... I saw like I, I have the update. I just don't know where to find the information. And because uh, I got that unlimited group thing, but I need to. Um, I need to set all that up and um, and see how to connect multiple groups because I still haven't. I still only did one. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you just have to log into Zapier. It's uh -huh. super easy. Do you remember your password? No, I'm probably gonna have to reset it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's just Zapier. So let's say, um, uh, let's see, connect. Zapier to what is your email or responder? Um, active campaign. Active campaign. So it's gonna look something like this. Zapier is cool because they kind of like they kind of. Yeah, I, I think yeah, you, they probably have like where it will just connect automatically everything. See, they they show yeah. you the integration, then you can click that, and awesome. then they actually. Um, oh, they they kind of ask you to log in though. Let me see if this you can log in and continue with the. Um, okay, they let you log in with this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna show you the potential of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is really your profile or not. But anyways, you choose this instead of choosing Active Campaign as the first app. You choose Google Sheet. Um, okay. I'm gonna click Make a Zap because. They're like hell bent on that being active campaign first. So you're gonna do Google Sheet there, super simple. And then you're going to choose new spreadsheet row, really easy. You're gonna connect the account and then um, it connects to Google Sheet. You just choose the one that is being synced to the Google Sheet. Don't mm -hmm. use all the other ones. And then, um, and then you click continue and then it'll say, hey, which sheet is it? You're gonna choose okay. the one that says group convert. Mm -hmm. um, and it's right there, a uh, copy of Group Convert. And then here, it's the first sheet. So uh, a worksheet has many different sheets that mm -hmm. is underneath it. And then, so we will just like grab this data that we just pulled in. And then we're going to click continue. And then it says it's lack lacking an action step, which is what we're going to do next. So it's going to be active campaign here. And then for active campaign, we can say create and update a contact. And then in active campaign, uh, you can actually add a contact to add automation. If it doesn't exist, the contact will be created and then added to the automation. That's probably the best thing because you want to have like an automated, mm -hmm. like the minute they enter your group, you want to be able to send them this is uh, you just go to here. Oh, I have to connect it, okay. Yeah, so this is your part, but I just kind of want to show you once that's connected, mm -hmm. all you need to do is just choose the campaign. That Easy enough, yeah. And then you just have to turn it on over here, it'll be off, um, but then you have to turn it on here. And then there you go, and with every 15 minutes, it will go ahead and pull that data. Awesome. So on this dashboard, like here we pulled all your data, you can either push it to Google Sheet manually or you can choose the automate feature, which is it will do the push to Google Sheet this uh -huh. for you automatically every 15 minutes plus. And you don't have to keep on pushing this button every single time. To awesome. Data over. I was just being lazy. Like I, I have some other zaps connected and everything. I was just being lazy to connect everything. Yeah, but you know, uh -huh. that laziness. It'll, like, it'll take you probably 10 minutes, but it'll I know, and then I don't have to think about it. <laughs> yeah, it'll save you hours of your time. Um, one last question How do I connect multiple groups? Like, do yeah. I? S you just go to your other group, so give me another. Uh -huh. group. Do you have another um, group right now? I, I don't, I don't, I'm okay creating a new one, but do I just connect a new Google Sheet and, and it's the same setting and just select it from there? Yeah, just make a okay. copy. Make a uh -huh. copy of this and okay. empty it out. So let's make a let's make a copy for you then. Um, what's your new uh, What's your new group going to be called? Um, just put Nika. I have not 
finished everything yet. Group convert second group. I'm just okay. gonna do that. Save. And then what you will do is you just clear it, but don't clear mm -hmm. the top part. Clear okay, it. Okay. Clear the second row onwards, mm -hmm. but don't clear the first row. It needs to help. So I'll just put this link into that little link section in the members area for the new group, right? Yeah, that's all you okay. need to do. And definitely, and if you don't delete all this stuff, uh, it's fine too. It'll just add to it. But, uh, you know, I just went ahead and deleted it for you. Awesome. So all you need to do is just grab this link right here. Mm -hmm. Copy the link, click done, and then go back to your new Facebook group. Okay. It will have this little pop up. Awesome. Paste it, and then it will pop up something else that says your Google Sheet has been linked, or you know things mm -hmm. blah blah blah. And then you click OK. If you don't see that pop up, then something is wrong. Okay. And you shouldn't proceed, but that pop up will say, hey, it's linked. And then, okay. and then what's going to happen is in here, it's going to show up instead of one, it's going to show up two. The other one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. And it will push to the correct sheet. So uh, this group will push to one, the other group will push to the other. And it won't be like a jumble mess here. Mm -hmm. It's just individual, uh, whichever one it's going to go to. Awesome. Awesome. You're a genius. Thank you <laughs> so much. <laughs> No, Colin, thanks for being a volunteer case study. <laughs> it, and it was just so stupid, like, because you just stopped working. And I think I'm like, oh, it's Facebook, it's Facebook. And then I'm like, seven days later, I'm like, hold on, I still have these people that I can't approve. <laughs> yeah, well, awesome. no problem. I'm I really appreciate it. No problem, Parkika. Thanks so much for using Group Convert and being a group converter. <laughs> hey, forever, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon, day. girl. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, if you like that video, then you will love all the resources that I have over at kimcdang.com, that is K-I-M-C-D-A-N-G.com. There you will find all my courses, my extensions, all the offers that um, I have, as well as a lot of free resources if you are just getting started.